Hey, Lena, Daphne here. You are doing really well. Good progress. Good work. Keeping going on all this. These are your last essays in this pack, just to let you know. Uh, you may want to continue. I don't know what grade you're looking for, but you may want to carry on um, and get another pack. Many students keep going until they feel really confident. I think they find this a useful way of improving. I hope you do too. So line graph here. Uh, showing the number of tourists visiting a particular Caribbean island uh, and summarize and then obviously compare where relevant. So we've got cruise ship visitors here, we've got visitors staying on the island and we've got the total. Okay, so you've got some quite interesting things to talk about here. The graph illustrates the number of travelers visiting an island in the Caribbean um, from 20, yeah, distinguished by the place they stayed, which are the visitors who, uh, remember, um, I would put here either uh, on cruise ships or on the island itself. Just keep that a little bit simpler. You don't need to keep on re repeating that whole structure there. Overall, the total number of visitors increased significantly during seven years and marked its highest 2017, which is 2 million tourists staying on cruise and 1.5 on the island. You definitely need to put your article here on the island and in the Caribbean. It's a specific place, okay? Otherwise, fine. Number of tourists, uh, you'd need to say who stayed, either staying or who stayed. So I would go who stayed on cruise ships was a million less than those who stayed on the island in 2010. Good. Although the scope decreased by half in 2011, the difference between the three groups widened as the number of those who stayed on the island steadily rose. Very nice. Good writing there. However, this gap became dramatically closer uh, as the travel stay staying, definitely do the ING, on cruise ships increased. Uh, you can't have remarkably increased. It would have to go after the verb and it doesn't work that way and increase significantly. That is a much better word. Write that one down. You can use it in task two and task one. Good work. Uh, do you, um, well, the other plateaued. Uh, well, the other location um, numbers or numbers or proportion. Nice words. Remember those sort of academic task one type words. Plateaued, good, until 2015. Uh, no surprisingly, the linear, that's your comment, so we don't want any personal comment. Those who said on cruise ship, uh, so why don't you go subsequently? Oh, subsequently. After which, those who said on cruise ships overtook those who stayed on the island as the number of visitors as the why don't you just go as the um, latter fell slightly and this gap widened uh, that's a very good answer well done i think you've done a nice job on that really nice you might mention that little dip here uh, so you might go the overall trend you're not mentioning the trend i definitely mentioned the trend at some point so if you look at it overall overall the trend was rising throughout the period yeah, you put increasing significantly, but just mention the fact that there was a little dip or there was a plateau there before a strong rise at the end. So I think you want to mention that overall shape of the graph. Otherwise, nice answer with lots of detail. Well done. So in the future, nobody will buy printed newspapers or books because they'll be able to read everything they want online without paying. To what extent do you agree or disagree with this statement? So in most societies today, information and knowledge are delivered via online rather than via papers more than ever before. Some social experts suggest that people will be able to find the readings they want online without any payment. Um, not necessarily delivered online, I go available online and you don't need via rather than through physical paper. Um, now, are delivered, you can't have are delivered. Basically, when you have more than ever before, that indicates you need a present perfect verb because that is unfinished time. So you'd have to change your verb here. You, so I would say, um, are, or have been available 
So you, if, you, if you want more than ever before, you have to have a present perfect verb. So have been available online rather than via papers more than ever before. Ooh, are now available. Are now available. All right, no, I think that is better. Are now available. When we've got available, it doesn't so matter. It doesn't matter so much. Um, are now available rather than via papers more than ever before. Okay, and some socialists would suggest that people will be able to find. Um, I think you need to put digital material here. Uh, digital material online. All digital, isn't it? Online in the future. This is the idea about the future, not now. You do need that without any payment, okay, or without needing to pay, without any payment needed. It's a bit complicated, this to paraphrase, isn't it? it? Needs a little bit of thought. Although I agree with the idea that most materials will be available, I'm doubtful. They, ooh, bit careful on that structure there. Um, I I believe there will be a price attached. Keep it formal. I believe there will be a price attached. You can't contract like that. It's widely preferred. So, mm, I will put many students uh, commentators and uh, let's think of somebody else, another group, business man. It doesn't really matter who you say here because everybody reads, but I'm just putting in this because I think you do need people. You do need an intro comment that they much prefer. So it's widely preferred is suggesting everybody and I'm not sure that's necessarily true. Comment that. Uh, they prefer reading online instead of buying physical materials because the readers don't need to be conscious about the problems that may have had such as lack of... Okay, the readers, you don't contract there. Don't need to be conscious about the problems that may have had such as lack of physical rooms to put and low portability. I'm not sure what you mean there. I'm not sure what you mean. So they don't need to worry about, so I would maybe be so aware of, not conscious. Uh, you mean the fact that the book is big or is heavy or something like that? You be more, I don't understand, be more explicit there. Additionally, the amount of information that one can have via online has significantly increased. Here you do need the present perfect. Has significantly increased as technology has improved. So present perfect there and then there as well. According to research, so it's not the research, it's just research from Oxford. 70% of participants responded that they prefer reading online rather than paper material. Okay, for this reason it's certainly possible to portray the world without papers in the future. Okay, um, that's fine. You don't need to have an exact example like this. You could put um, in your country where you live. So you know, recently there's been a huge growth in people reading online rather than physical books because so it, you don't need to have this actual example there are other ways of doing it however although some open source materials could be released free online good word there materials which have copyright cannot be free because they are made for earning profit out of them and should not be legally copied good writing um, for example newspapers and journals are a subscription service in order to let readers pay for articles for a certain period of time this is applied the same um, this is applied good Therefore, um, people will still, people, rather than will, go are still likely to be obliged to. That is a nicer construction rather than just will. Uh, obliged to have to pay. For certain reading materials in the future, even if plenty of, yeah, that's a very good paragraph, well done, lovely. In conclusion, although most information that currently exists S, in papers will be shared online, I, I, I'd be careful on will, is predicted to be, you, you can do better than just will, is predicted to be, is expected to be, some materials 
will continue to be charged. Okay, that got better as you went along. Not a little bit of confusion here. Too many errors in the intro, but that did get much better, Lena. So well done. Good answer. Very interesting question, isn't it? Thank you for those. Let me know if you want to carry on with an extra pack. Uh, that'd be great to keep working with you. And when is your exam, by the way? 